Hello, I'm Raymond. I'm a current year two business student studying in Nanyang Technological University, NTU Singapore. So in this video, I would like to give some advice or maybe some tips to the upcoming freshies. So I will briefly talk about the academic matters regarding courses and some important online applications in the student portals. I hope that this video can let you guys have a better understanding about NTU. So if anyone has any doubts, just feel free to drop me a comment or find me through Facebook. I will be glad to clear your doubts. So all of the information is based on my opinion and my experience. So I wish you guys could just take it for your reference. Okay, so let's get started. In NTU, for every course, we have few different types of modules, which are Core, Geo, and UE. Core is the module related to the principle that you study. It simply means the main subject in your own major, and you need to clear the core in order to graduate. Next is Geo, or General Education. For Geo, it divided into Geo Core, Geo P, and Major PE. Geo Core courses are usually 1AU courses. Taken online or pre-registered courses include in your major's curriculum structures. There are courses that are cover the following areas. Communication skills, Singapore studies, sustainability, ethics, enterprise, and innovation. Major PE are courses you will need to choose from your major that will allow for specialization in a certain field. Lastly, UE is the unrestricted electives. You can choose to take module offered by any other major other than your own in NTU. For instance, anyone can take modules like sports, languages, ceramics making, gardening, and so on. I think this UE actually makes the uni life more interesting rather than studying modules in your major. In order to graduate, you need to clear a certain number of AU. Different courses will have different requirements of AUs. For example, for me, business students have to clear around 110 AU throughout my three years of study. You can check your respective AUs needed to graduate and modules you need to take through the curriculum structures on the NTU website. In NTU, most of the courses you need to have your specialization. For your information, in business year 2, you need to choose to specialize into either banking and finance, marketing, actual science, and etc. This also applies to engineering students, but different specialization. You can also take major or minor in business, entrepreneur, and others. There are a variety of courses to choose for, and if you think you can't cope with the major or minor, you can always drop it. Just take whatever you can, and don't push too hard on yourself, because enjoy the life is the priority. And you also provide APP, which is known as Accelerate Actual Programs, for those who want to speed up their courses. For instance, four years of engineering course can be shortened into 3.5 years. They are given the privilege to register their courses during Star Wars few hours earlier than their course mate. As you might hear, Star Wars. It isn't the same as the Star Wars movie that you watch. Actually, it is stars and it can be found in INTU, which is a student portal. INTU is a very important platform for all NTU students. In this portal, you can update your personal information, register course, book campus facilities, apply for scholarships, and etc. If you got your student network account, you can sign in and explore the portal. Okay, back to the main point. STARS is an online system for every student to do course registration, 
and arrange your own timetable. For freshmen, your respective school have helped you to register your course for your first SEM, so no need to worry about it. However, if you wish to change your index number to shift the class time, you can do it during the egg drop periods, which is the first week of the uni starts. So during this period, you can also register UEs as the school didn't do it for you. So first, you have the freedom to choose the elective that you're interested in. Let me introduce you some useful apps. Before you come to NTU, you can download these apps. So the first one is NTU Go. You can check out the timing of the buses. Red bus, campus rider, blue bus, 199, 179. The second apps that I would recommend is you wave. It works similar like NGO Go to check on the timing of the buses. And also you can check on NGO Map. For example, like the seminar that you want to attend. You can also check on the crowd info of the canteens, one stops, library and discount. The third apps is Recom Kids. It's a food delivery apps that you place your orders and you can choose one of these places to collect your food at specific time. And do note that it's free of the recharge. The last apps is Pentio Mobile. It's the mobile version of Pentio websites where you can check on the news of Pentio libraries, map, shuttle bus, and all kind of stuff. Normally, we use Blackboard to access all the course material like slides, assignments, quiz, tutorials, and other academic work. We often use Trinity to submit our assignments where it can check the credibility of your assignments. Trinity will show how much similarity of your assignment compared to the others to avoid any plagiarism. Well, lectures, seminars, Tutorials are needed to be attended. If you miss any of those, recorded lectures are always available for you to trace back the material covered in the class. Many of the students will choose to watch all the lecture video and cram all the materials before the exam. Actually, I will advise you to try to attend all of them. Try to be consistent so you will have more time to do revision rather than do it at the 11th hour. NTU also provide exchange programs to other uni at overseas. You can either apply for summer or winter exchange. Many of the students apply for student exchange to clear their difficult modes in other uni as the mode that you are taking during exchange is actually graded pass or fail. So they won't actually affect your CGPA. There are also a lot of financial aids like study loan, tuition loan, bursary, and scholarship that you can apply. If you want to apply, make sure that you do your best in your study, score well, and always maintain your CGPA as good as possible so that you have higher chance to get the scholarship. And you have a lot of extracurricular activities, workshop, talks, event, competition, exhibition, and also industrial visit that you wouldn't want to miss out. Even though in first sem, every mode has been registered for you, try to schedule them neatly so that you can enjoy every event that you like. As I said, enjoy more on the uni life rather than your study as there is only three 
or four years in this period. I hope you guys find this video useful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,